All right, my surfer friends of the binary ocean, let's do some more crux forth here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, make a function to process our input. So we'll just name it very creatively process input. And we're gonna take an argument called input array, and that's gonna be an array of strings. That's what we get when we do a read line here, it's gonna be a string. Um, <clears throat> and then when we, <clears throat> excuse me, and then when we separate this uh, inputs into the input array, yeah, we get an array of strings. So that's what we're gonna pass into our function. And then we're gonna return a value, a Boolean of true or false. Uh, we need a for loop for input in input array. So for each, you know, say our input array is, what did I just do? Preparing Ruby. What did I just do? That was weird. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So let's um let's just pretend this is our input. So we have our input array, which is gonna be two, two. Okay. Um and actually I think since it's strings, you know, it's probably like with double quotes around it. So we have our input array. Um, so for each one, so for the two, and then you know we're gonna do this. If int input, so it's gonna basically checking to see if it's an, if it can be uh, turned into an integer. If it's you know if the string data type can be cast into an integer data type, if it can. And uh, so if it does that and doesn't return nil, so it returns a number, basically, it's gonna either return a number or nil. Um, if it doesn't return nil, then we want our int stack. Here's where we get our int stack. We want to append uh, that value, the integer that we just cast from our string. So in this case, it would be two. And then we just want to unwrap that here. And if it fails, you just go to zero. So, um, and this, we're just kind of taking a shortcut here with the error handling because, uh, because we're already checking right here before we even run this, okay? Else, so if it's not an integer, check dictionary. So this is going to be kind of our dictionary here. Now in fourth, uh, let's open up our, so in fourth, you have a, a dictionary, create a dictionary of some sort, which is basically a, a whole bunch of different functions. Now, this is the fourth standard. This is like the standard for any fourth implementation, which it's a really cool website and really cool document. You can look up all the standard words. And I was like, you can see I had a semicolon here because I was looking at uh, and down the road here, we're gonna we're gonna be using semicolon as one of the words in our interpreter, um, and it tells you exactly you know how how it should work, what it should do, you know the rationale for it, everything. So in fourth, yeah, we have that dictionary. Like one of the things in our dictionary is gonna be the plus sign. The plus sign is a word that adds the top two values on the stack together. Okay, so um, we're we're not gonna add that to our dictionary just yet. We just want a dictionary to begin with, right? So just to make sure our input is being processed properly. So, so if it's not an integer, we wanna check our dictionary and see if the word that we that is in the input is in our dictionary. And for right now, this is gonna be our dictionary. Show, and that's just gonna print whatever is on the stack. Else if, uh, else if, input equals by and that's just going to help that's that's how we're going to exit our program return false okay so process input if we say by it's just going to return false and that's going to we're going to set that up to um, kill our program and otherwise if this whole thing you know goes through if we put everything on the stack um, you know say it's just just numbers and we got them all on the stack then return true so that means uh, basically what that's going to do, if we get false, then we stop checking for new input and we kill the, the interpreter. Otherwise, 
we keep the interpreter running and keep uh, checking for input. Okay, so here's how we work that into this. We need to work that into our input um, here. Underneath where it says let input array equal input dot components separated by space, we want to we want an if statement if process input. Okay, so that's input array, and we want to pass in our input array into that. So this is just, so here's our input array, right? It's each of these, so it would be this, it would be this, or no, it would be this. We're going to pass that into this process input function that's going to come down here and run through all this stuff. Um, and if that is true, right, and if it, if it finishes, it'll return true. So if that's true, then print okay that means good we're good we're successful else we're going to do a break and that's just going to end our while loop and when our while loop ends our program ends uh, and then let's do one more little thing here we can get rid of this print input array we don't need to see that now we know that works but we do want to print more of these little guys with our terminator uh, so that each time this loop runs it prints a new one so we just you know we know that the interpreter is still going all right so we made some progress here let's see let me get rid of this gibberish here and let's try running our program and see what we get um, it'll print the stack if we say show so we should be able to put some stuff on the stack and then show it and then we should be able to also exit our program by entering by BYE. Let's try. Okay, what did I do? Term oops, I spelled terminator wrong. Okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger would be very disappointed. All right, there we go. So let's put um two two, let's let's put our program on the stack that we had. Okay. And then let's show the stack. Two two okay. See, it didn't it didn't put the plus on there because first of all, it didn't find it in here in the dictionary, so it just did nothing with it basically, and um, it couldn't convert it to an integer, so it just did nothing with it, which is good for now. So we got our two and our two. Let's try putting something else on there. A four and a three and a twenty-two, and let's show it again. Okay, we have our two, our two, our four, our three, and our twenty-two. That's awesome. Let's see if our buy works. It works. So that's a good place. Let's see. Let's see what that uh, objective was here on the write yourself a fourth. Create a dictionary of some sort. Initialize it with the words plus and print. Okay. So show is our print. Execute. Okay. So let's let's get our let's get our plus in here. Uh, it should be pretty simple actually. Uh, let's just go else if input equals plus. And if that happens, then we want to add those two values together. Um, so let's just make a separate function here real quick. Func add, and it's gonna, we're gonna say, uh, create a integer variable, top word, it's gonna go to the stack, remove, last this function removes the last item in the in the array so the top of the stack right so that's simple let second word int equal well and dot remove last since we're running it after this one it's gonna since it already removed that top one right the second one is gonna be that the next one down let sum it's gonna be another integer we're just dealing with integers here Super easy. It's amazing how simple this is. It's like, it's beautiful, really. Uh, top word, that's this, plus our second word on the stack. We add those two together, and then uh, int stack dot append the sum. So we add them together, and then we add the two to the top. So two, two, plus, that means we're gonna get um, two and two on the stack, right? Those are gonna get added together, which equals four. And then the four 
is going to be appended onto the top of the integer stack. And then uh, just for showing things here, we'll print the sum. We'll save that, and then we have to run our add function if, uh, if, that, if it sees that plus sign. So you can see all of this is really coming together quite a bit now. Uh, and it's, it's just, it's so simple. It's lovely. So I don't know, maybe you're, maybe you can see why I was talking about, like, I love like programming in Swift. I mean, it's just, it's very it's beautiful. Okay. So let's, um, let's try that two, two plus that we've been doing. Here goes moment of truth. Two plus two equals four. Let's see what's on our stack Four. Let's put like a whole bunch of numbers on our stack. Seven, 20, 42, 100,000 and billion. Okay, let's see what happens. Show, okay, there's our stack. There's four at the very bottom. Let's add the top two numbers. So we should get um, 11 million, 122,000 and 42. And all we need to do is put a plus to add those. There it is. 11,122,042. Let's show our stack. There's our 11 million, and it removed these two from the top. And that's how fourth works. So that covers it. That's everything we need for that second objective. We got our plus word and our print word, which we called show, uh, which is, I think, more in line with uh, G fourth and, and some other more standard fourth implementations. And we can execute programs like this. So that's awesome. In the next one, we're going to, um, we don't need to really do branch branching. We're just going to add some more stuff to our dictionary. Uh, maybe get into setting up compile mode, which is another little bit of uh, some trickiness there, but it's, it's, uh, we'll get it working. So thanks for watching and peace out.